It is blowing outside. Like I think 30, 35 knots, pretty sustained. Our anemometer's not working right now, so I kind of use my wind generator as a gauge. It was getting up to 18 amps cranking. Here's our chart plotter. The purple stuff is our track. I've had it turned on for the last few days. And then right now our, our boat's right here. So you can see we've just been like kind of moving around in a semicircle. So I should be able to tell if we really start to drag. Here's another boat, one, one eighth of a nautical mile away. Should be able to fairly accurately tell if we're starting to drag towards this boat or if anything is dragging towards us. Here's the land, and here's some other boats. Pretty exciting. Um, I checked our snubber out on the bow. Looks good, chain looks good, knock on wood. I'm not dragging yet. Um, charging our batteries, <laughs> that's for sure. So I flicked on our inverter and started using some electricity because we are rocking. Over here, Holly. I'm making bread. I'm not really doing the turbo bread recipe because I didn't have instant rice yeast. So I'm just making normal bread. It sat overnight in the oven. Surprisingly, it still rose well. Yeah, I'm kidding. Huh? Just finished bread. Look what Torn's doing. They turned out really good. Beautiful out, are you kidding me? It is gorgeous out today. So pretty. Let's go oh, see Riker. Hey, Rike. Hi. That was swinging. I'm gonna do a little next thing. I'm gonna swing over this. Need your life jacket on tour. testing out our solar and our wind and everything we're pumping in uh, like between 25 amps to like 15 and 25 amps uh, which is pretty good we've been taking showers in a while so we're gonna run our, our generator for a little bit warm some water up take some showers so we had a little problem with our faucet today that does our filtered water it was plugged <gasps> So I tore it apart, it was a hole. So I, I 3D printed a piece that'll go in there. So we just dropped anchor at Hall of Cove. We've anchored here before, but we're just gonna anchor here for the next couple nights since the wind is shifting. We're gonna go take the boys in to go pick some oranges here at the Orange Grove. There's also a park over here, so. You guys ready to explore the shoreline? Of 
We don't have that flat bottom boat. I think we're stuck. Uh oh. Hilarious. I don't think we're coming in any further. Uh oh. We can walk through the water. It's not deep. <laughs> um, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, if you want, there's a floating there's a floating dinghy dock you'll see just yeah. before you get to that pavilion. Okay. And it's not a long walk. It just uh, just down this way? And then when it ends, you'll see where it goes over a bridge. Okay. That's we neat, have huh? a plane hall. I know. <laughs> Super fast <laughs> dinghy, bro. It's I think it's very shallow. Look, my oar touch is right there. So, so we'll go out That's a little bit. Amazing. Oh, oh yeah, I can't sure see does. The bottom. You cannot see the bottom. I know. I'm sorry. Zero. When we say zero, we're zero. I mean zero. dock at the city park dock you get like one free night at the dock which is awesome so you get 24 hours up there um, we're gonna refill our water tanks we have two 100 gallon water tanks um, I just did 10 loads of laundry and we did about 12 days on one tank without with showering and stuff without doing laundry um, then I just use the other tank for doing all of our laundry so now we're going to go in. Oh boy, Macy. Hey. Our last time on the dock, we're out. Yep, this is it. That's wild. Yeah. We got to come back one more time real quick to, to do our car, put our car away. But yeah, we're pretty much done here. It's time to head south. That's too cool. Yeah, Another this... front coming in Friday is supposed to gust up to 40 knots. It's freaking freezing. <laughs> Bring more cold weather. And... I want clear, warm water. Hey, we're out the dock. Today is provision day. We're going to go run to Walmart, Sam's, and uh, West Marine couple of places just to get some stuff finished up. It's our last buying day before we head out. Yeah, yeah we don't have a car anymore, Holly. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, we're all carless and just the boat and the dinghy and all that. I think we have some mice or something. I hear something on the boat maybe. Rats? Oh, yucky. Ah, stowaways. Oh, stowaway children. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing down here? I'm way down here in the wall. 
Yeah. Yeah. We're just okay. having fun. Is this your new bedroom? Will you guys be sleeping here from now on? <laughs> this is your bunkhouse. Here, here's the lantern. <laughs> Water over the side. Where are we headed to, Captain? The shortest journey ever. <laughs> we're, just, we're going up the river like 10 nautical miles. I think if you motor at five knots, it'll take an hour and 12 minutes. Kind of a nasty day, no sailing, just motoring. So we are about to go under our first fixed bridge. It's a little nerve wracking. I know we're gonna make it. It just doesn't feel like we're gonna make it. So we're super deep in here. Where do we anchor? Uh, Over there? Is that okay? Yeah, I think that's where we anchor. Let me check the Go up and then to the right of the train bridge. Okay. Kind of crazy. We're doing 4.3 knots and I'm in neutral. Yeah, it seems like a bit of a current, huh? We did not make it in time to get past the Main Street Bridge. So we just ended up anchoring over here. This is the, uh, they call it the train bridge. It's a, it's a drawbridge style bridge, it's pretty cool. Um, there's a bit of current here, I'd say like a knot and a half, maybe two sometimes. So it was our first time anchoring in some current, but it went well. And uh, there's a bunch of buildings over here, far enough away that I feel good if we were to swing either direction no issues. I think it's like 16 or 18 feet right here, 17 I think, and I, we put out 100 feet of chain, so should be good. She seemed to hold really well, the anchor set. We're just gonna settle in for the night. It is a little wild, bit of a crazy anchorage, but. Yeah, just like small margin for error is how I would describe it. Yeah, we're gonna have to set our circle for our anchor alarm very, very small. Yeah. It's definitely different from the park area. I think we're gonna have amazing fireworks. The fireworks show tomorrow. Night. Tomorrow night? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go to it. 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 We're g